world of YouTube. I'm going to go into a little. Now these stories, I tell you, unbelievable. Well, we got a firefighter's body found in rugged cliff area two weeks after he disappeared. The Los Padres National Forest, 36-year-old firefighter chased barefoot, barefooted after his dog that darted. Firefighter's buddy companion with him can't find him after he does not return to camp. As many as 75 people, helicopters, drones searched for two weeks in the area that he was later found. He was in a, in an unlikely place, 1,200 feet up the mountainside of a partially covered in bushes. I'm sorry. Anybody that don't believe that something don't exist out in these woods, you're wrong. <laughs> Sorry, but you're dead wrong. And I've been saying it all along, and I'll continue to say it. As we look at the map, San Bernardino is down here near all this area. Of course, the famous Route 66 and um, historic route, and of course, Nevada, all along the ridge over this white dot. And as you can see, here is the um, park that the firefighter was found in, uh, Los Pedro. Oh no, Padres. <laughs> Pedro! Padres. I'm sorry, but this mountain side, especially being so close down here to the old San Bernardino. Oh man, I'm killing it. And the UFO sightings throughout this area, but also. Padres Natural Forest. Not too far. Well, it isn't far, but not too off from Bigfoot sightings in Washington. Let alone Skinwalker Country also. So, I mean, just to keep getting these occurrences happening. The guy ran barefoot after his dog. I bet you his dog seen something supernatural is right. And he went chasing him, but of course the dog came back and he did not. <laughs> so it's just freaky what can be out in these mountains. What lives beneath us? What lives in the mountain ranges? Actually, let me pull something up. I don't think I went over this yet, but I'm going to go over it now. <laughs> Hope I still have it. Yeah, I don't think I erased it. Come on, where are you? And of course, here's something from American Bandstand, mind you. I forgot what band it was. I wasn't supposed to do that. But this guy throws up this. Of course, at the time, um... Ah, what's his name? Shit. Dick Clark. It's all about, oh, so you guys believe in this stuff, huh? He's like, yes, I do. He wanted to throw that up. And it's like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What could be... Roaming around in the mountaintops. Come on, where is it? Damn it. Oh, are oh, you stupid? S O B. Well, 
it's all the stuff I gotta go over and movie. Ha <laughs> ha! Great movie right there. Ah, there it is. This is not too far from my man Cooper High. Of course, as you can see, a massive mountain. And just by the looks of this, Bernardino. Bernardino, I gotta see that name to say it. But um, one of the most prominent features in the Inland Empire, Riverside, San Bernardino, urbanized area. The summit is used for numerous telecommunication towers, including transmission towers from, I guess them a radio station, yep. But, What I've been going through and thinking of, and now this guy goes missing, and that other guy goes missing that jumped off a 12 or 20 foot cliff or whatever the frig it was to do a movie thing. Bolts into the woods. Just like this guy's dog bolts into the woods. Bolts off the campsite. He's after him. What prompted that? Is the question. My man Cooper High. This is what I've been meaning to get to you brother. This big mountain. So I don't expect you to go and explore man. Because you don't know what's in that sucker. But this is something I. Came upon when. I was. Re going over his. Uh, footage. Of his UFO he caught. Literally. It's all that stuff I have downloaded, my man. I do have it all. It's somewhere in my photos, and I got to go to a certain place, and sometimes it pops up, and it's like trying to find it. It's like, where the fuck did it go? Ah! But I've been meaning to get this. Now, this ain't close to where the guy went missing, but this gives you an idea of what this frickin' mountain range looks like out there. In the good old California hills. And I'm telling you something. I think there's something more under there than just big, huge rocks. But then, you know, every time I look at something massive like this, it gives me a just a eerie feeling. You know, coming up upon that big, huge mountain. Just like no different than the 1963 UFO sighting of the uh, the couple I have up, which they were up in Laconia area. And over they driving by big, huge mountains. And I believe they're right around the range of the White Mountains. So I don't know, people. I know there's a lot of Native American land out there in California that's gotten disturbed. Especially the Ghost of Frenchers uh, show I watched the other day. And I didn't look up that yet, but some town, I think I... No, I didn't even do a video of it yet. But I'll have to do that video to show you what's, you know, where that location is. Not too far off from all of this, I can tell you that. It's all in the ring, people. It's all in the ring. I mean, this thing right here, man. If someone was to explore it, I guarantee you find something, whether it be caves or just like the Kenny Veach story with the M cave. I mean, just imagine what lies in that behemoth mountain. And now you got people going up a 1,200 foot rugged cliff and buried in brush barefoot what the hell makes you think a man is gonna climb a friggin rugged terrain barefoot it's like damn what the hell was this guy thinking barefoot after his dog barefoot Oh man, I can't stand out in the woods 
maybe walk into a little swim hole, let alone running barefoot. Screw that. I don't like things not on my feet. Especially known twigs, glass, hidden. Cahoots to this guy, man. But being fine up in a 1,200 foot, partially covered in bushes. Now that is something a Bigfoot would do. So, I can just imagine as if them things are getting, you know, they say that them things don't want you to even know them. But yet, who knows if they're starting to lure in, especially when an animal sees them. But then again, it could just be as something as supernatural as right. So I'll tell you, the Indians used to look, climb mountains too, to see the lay of the land, to do the great powwows on back in the day of war. So. Whatever is out there, people, be careful, beware. Because right now, I think the land is more and more being disturbed. And whatever supernatural is out there is coming forth. That's what I think. I don't care what anybody says. I take this stuff highly. And when you got a guy up in terrain, rough terrain, mountainside, barefoot, Show me a man that's going to climb a rough terrain mountainside, barefoot. And I'll show you a hundred grand. That's right. Because anybody going to do climbing barefoot, man. I'm not that sick. No effing way. Chase his dog and then the thing comes back. What lured that dog in is the question. Poor guy, I'd like to give him a moment of silence. And it's sad to say that who knows what the hell lured him up there. But these are the things you gotta beware out there and out west. Creatures out there ain't nice. It's just like boys and children that have been driven up, dragged up, and they've done all kinds of expert animal wildlife, and none of them wildlife was even determined to have done it. So I believe there's something else out there. Or there'd be UFOs sucking you up with their beams of light. Or the Bigfoot skinwalker theory too. They ain't taking kind of their land being touched, nor being searched. Gotta be aware, gotta be careful. But I bet you if I look up about that area of how much Native Americans, I already know how much Native Americans are out there because when they talked about it on Ghost Adventures the other day in this house with people committing suicide, the whole place, Native American. But I'll save that for the video of what was there. Other than that, another poor lost soul lost into the regions of the insane California. And then ain't just, uh, just out there either. It's back here east all through. Starting to wonder what the fuck is beneath us and what is in the mountains think about it. It ain't just up in the sky no more. They've been here probably as long as they've been up there. Be safe. Out.